Hey, Scale Nation, Joe and Tosh from ScaleFreak.com coming to do a bit of, you know what? I was almost going to say an install video, but this isn't technically an install video. No, no we're not professionals. Don't listen to us. Don't listen to us at all. This, this is more of an experience This video. is definitely an experience video because one of the things that Tosh and I have been doing a lot lately is uh, trying to experience everything and it's a lot of fun. So today, what's the experience? Well, we're going to get this Smitty Built XRC bumper on to Clark the Jeep. Yep. I wish us luck. All right, dude, what do we got? Okay, so we picked up the Smitty Built uh, XRC rear bumper for the 2004 Jeep. Well, ours is an LJ, but this is for the TJ. It's uh, part number 76653, I believe it was. Um, I got this one specifically because A, um, Tosh said it looked okay, because it is her Jeep and she wants it to look amazing. Uh, but second is, being that it's an LJ, I really got to protect the tub. So this thing here, if you take a look, it's got edges of the bumper that I can wrap around the side so that if I do, or if Tosh does, come I'm off saying. of a rock, no, not saying on purpose, but come <laughs> off of a rock and something hits the bottom, it's not going to take out the edges of the tub. Uh, this also has, you can see here, and it's got a plate that's going to go on here. If we ever throw on the rear tire, um, swing arm for it because we don't run a rear tire on a regular afternoon while we live here uh, but when we go on trail we're gonna bring it and of course it does have because no one lets you come on the trail unless you have recovery points uh, so two on the back um, for the d-rings and what I didn't realize most of these bumpers when you pick them up the trailer hitch is gonna be good for a recovery point but not for towing but this thing here is a class four. I believe the instruction says it does like 9,000 or 9,500 pound tow, which, wow, that's great because I just threw my tow setup into the attic because I didn't think I was ever gonna use it, but now this is gonna come with it. So that makes me happy. Uh, but that also does give us a couple extra mounting brackets that have to go into the chassis, no problem. And if you have, I believe it's a YJ, they give you the brackets for that as well. Um, but as you can see, it's not an unboxing video because it's already been unboxed. So let's kind of talk about how this thing is supposed to go on in the Jeep. All right, so um, here's the bumper frame. And so the bumper comes with a template. So what you're supposed to do is hold the template up to the edge of the bumper and line it up and um, drill your holes. So what happened with this old guy is Basically, the previous owner had put a um, universal bumper on it and had taken some artistic license with the location of the holes. And so we had some issues with trying to get this lined up. So we finally were able to make it work. We had to kind of MacGyver it and jerry-rig it, but now we have um, a, the ability to be able to line up the bumper holes with the actual correct um, dimensions of the, of the frame. So. Yeah, that was quite the experience, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was, uh, uh... Yeah, yeah, so, but basically, if this is your first in time installing a, a non-stock bumper on your Jeep, um, basically, this will give you the guidelines that you need to be able to, to install the bumper properly. Okay, so, first up, let's get this thing up on the jack stands. We are using the jack stands, because this thing is, if I remember correctly, 70 pounds? <laughs> More. Yeah, anyway, this is uh, bacchiotomy stuff if you're a little older. Um, so get it up on the jack stands for safety. I would recommend two people at least to help with this. I mean, you really only need two. Uh, the five-year-old actually made it a little harder, uh, and the dogs made it impossible. But the two of us, the two of us? will get this done. So we get it up. Uh, one of the first things. So Tosh did mention the inside holes. Don't worry about those right now. I'm just going to hold it up, get the bottom hole in each one because there is a lip on the bottom of this bumper that is going to screw into the bottom. That will keep it from falling off the jack stands yeah. or falling off as long as we put this thing on there correctly. So let's uh, lift this thing up and get it on. All right. Let's get that lip under there. Oh. And then just move that jack stand to make it safe. Is that good? Uh, yeah, but hold that for one second. Oh, it's not on the jack stand really. Uh, there we go. Okay. Can you hold that yeah, right I there? Because I forgot this. Ah. Can't forget these guys. These are what are going to hold into the back of this as well. So you got to get that in now. Don't drop it. I have a hole in my shoe. 
Oh, geez. Great. This bumper just cost me a new pair of shoes. No, 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 not the bumper. I just noticed because I'm looking down. That's what I'm saying, though. Now we're fixing the bumper. If you weren't looking down, you wouldn't notice a <laughs> hole in your shoes and we wouldn't have to now buy you new shoes. So, so the reason for this struggle is the original trailer mount that was on this Jeep. So again, when you're doing work on an old vehicle, you got to deal with oh, sorry, you got to deal with old stuff. Uh, the original bumper trailer hitch, sorry, that was on this thing, some of the bolts are still in the chassis, and I can't get them out. But that's perfect because it still fits the original setup here. So um, I had to wiggle it around a little bit, but that's fine because now there's a bolt coming from the inside out that I can put the nut on. Whereas opposed to the other side, I've got to put like these back stoppers on the inside. I'll show you that in a second. But let me, sorry, let me get this on. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, lift up, tilt forward. Oh, hang on, I'm just gonna move my fingers. And I'm just gonna thread this in a bit because again, those, those tabs that are on the bottom are gonna keep it from falling down. And then I'm gonna rub it your side. Just hang there, hang there. Good thing I ate my taco salad. Yeah. So what we're looking at here, passenger side of the vehicle, you can see that this plate, um, so this is gonna help with the bracing of the actual bumper to the chassis, as well as the chassis support on the back end. So I think when I was looking at the instructions of some of the other bumpers, I think this is probably why this thing tows versus the other ones don't. It gives you even that much more. Uh, and of course, this is gonna keep the bumper from pulling out. This is gonna keep everything really, really, really awesome. Now, this little guy here is one of the items that's gonna go in the frame. Um, so to try to test fit it, I already put one in there and I can't get it back out. So I'm just gonna use the one that I already put in there. Uh, I just have to try to figure out how to line it up again because inside this frame, um, as I mentioned from the previous owner, it had a trailer hitch on it. So there's stuff, nuts and bolts and stuff actually floating around inside the chassis that are getting in the way. Uh, used Jeep problems, I guess. Um, that's one of the things with these things being stuff that people like to work on themselves is sometimes the easy way is not always the right way. So instead of, you know what, I really can't say that because I'm the one that did that. I can't figure out how to get them out of the chassis. So they're just going to spend the rest of their, uh, the rest of their, days. the rest of their days inside the chassis. I don't really need to get at them anyway. They're not going to hurt anything. Are they just going to sound like loose chains jingling around in there? But that's just going to sound like the rest of the Jeep at that point. Cause the rest of the Jeep sounds like loose change as well. So you got to kind of line them up. This inside one up here was a bit of a struggle. Let's use that. Hold on. Oh, magic tool? Yeah, it's called flathead screwdriver. Ah, uh, yeah. Just to kind of line it up a little bit. And just like everything else, I don't start to tighten everything down until I've got stuff in there because Sometimes things have to move. Siri's listening to me. Look at my watch. What can I help you with? Go nothing, ahead. nothing, Siri. Yeah, go, go away. away. And this one is a little difficult to fight with. It doesn't want to make it in there. Oh, oh, hello. Really? Oh, hello. Okay, so I'll tighten that then in a second. Um, but then there's, of course, the two on this side. The, the motor or the, the body mount gets in the way of screwing that in, so you got to use an open face wrench. And then the hard part was getting them on the inside. I'm safe on this one here. There's enough in here. This bumper shouldn't fall on my head. But inside the back here, you're kind of doing this by feel because uh, I swear they're in here. I saw them. I drilled them. Oh, there's one. Is it in yet? <laughs> And then one here. Now, uh, these ones here, um, what was it? 16 mil, I think it was. These guys, these are 18s. Um, you can get at three of these with the deep socket, one of them with an open face, and then this 18 you can do with just about anything. So that's no problem. But give me a second. Let me get all these things cranked down. You guys don't need to watch that part. All right, folks, so we've got it all. Um, bolted down on both sides 
And now Joe's just putting the cap on the area where the mount for the rear tire will go. Would go, yeah. Yeah. So if we once when we eventually do get it, uh, it will go here, a hinge will go here, and then the other side, the lock will go over there. Yep. But again, because we're not using this, um, we're not using this the, the spare tire in our day to day. We don't want to put it on. Um, but again, uh, we're gonna get the D rings for here. Yep. So D rings okay. will go on. Um, I like the fact that the um, spare tire will be mounted on the bumper as opposed to putting pressure on the on back the of the door. door. Yeah. Um, just makes makes things a little bit easier. And of um, course, one of the main reasons why we wanted to get this now, I mean, a couple different reasons. One, we're heading in the winter and we don't want to get rear-ended. Yeah. Uh, but two, Bear likes to get in through the back. Yeah, so, so now, now he's he got a step. Yep. Get back onto the step. Yeah. Get back into the back. When are we going to put the rug back in? Uh, I'm gonna buy us a better one. <laughs> okay. The one I flooded the Jeep and it smells kind of bad. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, we won't go there. <laughs> so that's that's the end of but the that's install it. of that bumper. Remember, that's the XRC, uh, the XRC bumper for the rear of the TJ slash YJ. Um, but yep. that's not the end of installs, though. Not the end of installs. No, because now we've got this. You do that. I'm just gonna pull this over. Yeah. Ba 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 ba. Here we go. Uh-oh. What's this? Uh, I'm not telling anybody. I mean, if they scan down a little bit, they might be able to see the 76521 that's on the bottom corner there. But more parts. More parts. I like parts. Parts are good. Thanks for watching, guys. We got that rear bumper installed like a boss. Oh. Minimal Ta swearing. Tosh did do a bunch of stuff off camera. It is a heavy bumper though, so yeah. I had to support a lot of it, yeah. but she has no problem getting her hands dirty to get no. this bumper done up. Um, also makes her a lot more proud of the Jeep that she's built. Yes. It's kind of a big thing. And behind us again, that front bumper, that's gonna be the next thing yeah. we'll do in the next video for the bumper. But for all of you RC people that are watching this video, some of the things that you will notice is lately it's less about the installations Although this was an installation. No, it wasn't. It was the, it was a, a it was a presentation. A presentation. It was not an installation. It wasn't a how to video. Uh, we're not responsible for any injuries, yeah. loss of life, limb and or Jeeps. Anyway, <laughs> for you Jeep people, welcome guys. Uh, but ultimately what we're gonna do is make this more about an experience with the family channel. And Bear did wanna be a part of this, but- uh, He doesn't have any pants on right now. He's not wearing any pants. And, and he's he, playing Xbox. And he won't put them on. No. So we have a five-year-old teenager already. Yeah. Um, but you know what? We're gonna do the experience of getting all the installations done. And then we're gonna do the experience in the summertime of getting all the trailing done. Cause this is meant to be an off-road Jeep. This, yep. this little buddy ain't no mall crawler. So guys, the next thing you'll see, is this bad boy right here. I do want to give a huge shout out to Four Wheel Parts in Burlington. Yes. Um, that, that rear bumper, we ended up getting uh, off their website. It was 20% off was the deal that they had. And then next to nothing for shipping. It was $11 to ship that thing down here to Niagara from yeah. Burlington, which is absolutely amazing. And it came next day. This guy here, today is, today is Monday? Monday. They you shipped it, it on... this morning. Really? Yeah, because, the, because um, on Friday, Whoops, my hand's in the way. On Friday, I paid for it. Yeah. They shipped it, the, the, the order said it shipped today, and it came here by end of business today, and it cost me, I think it was nine bucks. That's, uh, I okay. can't drive there and back in my Civic for that price. No. And it was 10% off on the website. Yeah, so Four Wheel Parts Burlington, you guys absolutely rock. Yeah. So, all right guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, share uh, throughout your community. And uh, comment below, especially because we read them to Bear, and then we let Bear help us respond. So, guys, he loves to see it, so please support the Bear. And uh, stay for the adventures of um, Clark the Jeep. Clark. See you later, guys. Okay, bye.